Hello, hello, Brent back with you with another edition of Near Mint Musings. And today I'm going to dive headlong into a big old pile of mail that's been on the desk since I've been away on a business trip this past week. Um, had a lot of cool things to show you. I have some amazing people out there in the card community. I know hopefully you were all sitting down when I made that enormous announcement, but you're fully aware. There are some amazing, amazing people in this community. And this uh, video is going to showcase that. So have a, let's see, what do I have today? I have a dollar sale that was on YouTube recently. And I've got a trade that I made with a fellow YouTuber, along with a couple of care packages. So without the ado being any further, let's jump right in. So first off, I have a dollar sale from a man right here. This is JT, Triple Crown 24. He sent me his personalized car. Love it. So um, I was able to get some dollar cards from his sale. So I jumped on the twins. Got me Byron Buxton. What else we got here? Another Byron Buxton. Hoping for a good year for this guy. So he is overdue to have a good season, and I'm hoping that he does. Um, got hurt last year, and he's going to bounce back. I can feel it. Look at that beautiful card numbered. Purdy. And I got this cool 2015 Joe Maurer. Play ball card. Love these game cards. Great looking card of him. Then I had to get a couple of my Mariner up and comers. Kyle Lewis, Bowman Chrome. Top 100. And then the Bowman Platinum Prismatic Prodigies. Jared Kalanick. He was number, I think, 11 on the top 100 prospects that they just announced. So Mariners are expecting big, big things from him. So thank you, JT, one of the pillars in the community. Thank you for having that sale. Appreciate you much. Um, let's see. Next, I had a trade that I did with Matt from the Essential Credentials. You may have seen his video recently where he showcased that um, 2019 Ichiro um, short, short print from his 2001 season, that epic Mariner 116 win season that the Mariners had. He had the all-star jersey on from that year. Um, so that was cool. I was able to do that trade with my man Matt up in Sitka, Alaska. He hooked me up with uh, my George Springer PC, a couple of Bowman first cards there. Then it was all Mariners after that. Not a surprise. He's a fellow Mariner collector. Got me with the Griffey. It's all about the 90s. Got that shine. And some cards that I honestly have never seen. This is from Aurora. Pennant Fever. Then I got a little of the Fleer Ultra All-Stars. Ultra Stars. Circa, King Griffey. Then we got some Edgars. Edgars, one guy that I'm really focusing on PC more this year. And this is Fleer Ultra. And this is a numbered Donruss from 2003. Team Heroes. Another Fleer Ultra on base leader. That's just a good looking card. Love the colors. And then lastly, he sent me this cool Team Nucleus with Randy, the kid, and Edgar. Man, those are some good years with the Mariners. So thank you, Matt. I appreciate you as always. I was happy to do that trade. I know that Ichiro means a lot to you. And it was Happy to get it up to you. I appreciate you, man. So next, really quick, I had a 
cool little surprise gift from Ken from Beans Ball Car Blog. Ken's become a good friend of mine, and we have a shared affection for the T212 Obox. And he sent me a couple of the Obox TriStar um, reprints, but this is, he knew I'm trying to collect the players from my home state of Washington. So this is schmutz. This is fun to say. Feel free to say it out loud. No one will judge. Schmutz from Tacoma. It's one of the teams I'm collecting. And then um, one of the other guys I wanted to show off was 10 million here. And I'm gonna read you something real quick. Sorry for, this is, that's his name, 10 million. He was born in Mount Vernon, Washington and he attended the University of Washington. His paternal grandmother wanted her grandson's name to stand out and suggested the name 10. He already had the last name Million, so they named him 10. So that's why he got that name. Um, he was a lifelong player in the Northwest League. Um, I think he made... He almost made it to the bigs. The Cleveland Naps acquired his contract in 1911, but he never got to play a game because of a knee injury, so he stayed in the Northwest League. This is Victoria up in Canada. Cool. 10 million. Okay, so last, I'm going to show a bunch of cards. This is from Eric from The Card Closet, and we connected, and he knew that I was a Twins fan, and wanted to know if I needed some Twins cards. He was trying to downsize a bit of his collection, and I said, you know, I'm pretty good on the 70s and 80s, but anything pre-70s and, you know, in the 90s, I really don't have a lot of cards in the 90s. And he surprised me with probably a couple of hundred cards that came my way. Um, first things that he sent me, obviously as a Killebrew collector, he asked me, if I had these, and I actually didn't. These are um, some of the Topps 50 year reprints. So I didn't have this one with the logo on the bottom left there of Harmon. And this is the 2001 archive of his 1975 card that I did not have. So I appreciate that. And then he hooked me up with a bunch of these sweet cards in the 90s. Again, some of these I have never seen before. Um, this was cool. Michael Kadire Prospect. Look at this. David Ortiz before he was Big Poppy. It's just medium-sized Poppy right there. Here's a Todd Walker. These cool see-through skybox cards. Just gorgeous cards. Love the technology. Chuck Knobloch kneeling on a on Granite Cliff. These are the, um, I think, yeah, the Metal Universe from um, uh, 1998 Fleer Metal Universe. Kind of have that metallic look to them. Terry Steinbach, Top's Finest. Look at this one from SP, Paul Molitor. Look at him. His eyes follow you. Molly is always watching. Look at that die cut. That's so cool. Roberto Kelly. What's up, Panama? Love it, Pacific. There's another Metal Universe from the previous year. Todd Walker. Tory Hunter rookie card from Score. Chuck Knobloch Flare Showcase. Brad Radke Pinnacle Summit. Mui Chiney. Latroy Hawkins giving some on the stink eye. That was not a good day. This is Marty Cordova. This is one of those uh, leaf steel cards that, listen to this. Yeah, it's like metal. It's heavy. Look at that. 
Tops Finest Sterling, Marty Cordova. Little Pat Mears. Here's a Scott Erickson debit card. Those are cool from studio. Little die cut here of Marty Cordova. Showing off the guns. And then one more of Marty Cordova from Bowman. So then, really surprised me, Eric did, with a bunch of vintage twins. So this is gonna be from 19, I think, 61 to 69. So I'm gonna go through these. Billy Gardner, some cha in his mouth there. Lenny Green. Camila Pasquale, love that card. Such an underrated Twins legend. Elmer Ballo. These, this was the first year they were with the Twins. That's why they don't have any hats on. It was the first year after moving from Washington, D.C. Now they got hats. My man, Bob Allison. Another underrated legend. Here's the manager, Sam Miller. Another Camila Pasquale. Moving on to Bill Tuttle. Look at that chaw. Bam. Earl Batty. Underrated catcher for the Twins in the 60s. Some guy named Harmon Kill Brew. I think that's how you say it. Bob Allison down at the bottom. Nice representation there. Got a team card. Blaney Allen. Getting ready to bunt. Let's see. Al Worthington. Got a Jim Grant. Love this card. This is actually in pretty good condition. A little off center, but man, it's not a bad looking card. Tony Oliva, Carl Yastrzemski. Another Earl Batty. The man, Tony Oliva. Big Rich Rollin fans. Love those glasses. Zolo Versailles. Got a rookie stars, Ron Clark, Jim Ollum. And then a couple more, Jackie Hernandez. Frank Castro. Another Rich Rollins without the glasses, so he's dead to me in this card. Jerry Zimmerman. And then rounding out the 60s, we've got Cesar Tovar. Jim Cott. And then he also sent me this cool cloth sticker from Fleer. I think he told me it was like late 60s, early 70s. Just a cool looking thing there. So Eric, the card closet, you the man. So I'm going to provide a link down below to his channel. Check him out. He's got some great content. Um, he collects a lot of the older pre-war like Red Sox stuff, not pre-war, just but vintage Red Sox. And, um, kind of build some sets. So go check him out. He's got some great content and I appreciate his kind of backstories that he provides with his, with his cards. And yeah, just some amazing people in this community, but you all know that. So without any more, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. Have a good one, everyone.